So in this video, our primary goal is to have this indicator with two circles on the side here, indicating if you're going over the limit or not. So to do that, we just need to create two circle SPG icons. So what we can essentially do in here is up in our form, what we want to go ahead and have here is an X data. And in here, we just want to have a fair bit of data actually. So let's go ahead and start out by just having a body in here which we're going to say wire.entangle form.body. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have inside compose. We want to first and foremost make sure we import the view here. Then we want to go ahead and say ppsm live wire form tweet compose form. What we want to go ahead and do then say is public tweet compose form as form. In here for now, we just want to have a public st string of body equal to an empty string. And there we go. So we want to have a radius in here for the circle as well. So we're going to set that for 30 for now. But outside of that, all I want to go ahead and do now is essentially in between this button here and the icon where we show this here, we want to have in here a uh, diff x show when body dot length because on Twitter we don't you don't actually show when it, when it's empty trace. We only want to show this when you're typing. We want this to have a class in here of with ten height ten. And we want this to be relative. In here, we then want some SVGs. We want a class in here of transform and rotate 90. And we want a view box in here of 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0. And in here, we just want to have a circle. And the radius is going to be 30 for um, this one. So we could essentially go ahead and just get the value here. So for this one, we can just go ahead and say radius. We also want to go ahead in here and have um, a CX of 60. A CY of 60. We want a fill of none. We want a stroke width in here, which is in this case going to be equal to 8. We want a class in here of stroke current takes grain 700. So let's see if we can just put in some text before the SVG, see if we can actually show this when we're typing. And currently it doesn't seem to fully work. We have some errors here. So we have radius is not defined. So let's go ahead and see if we can just set this to 30 by default for now. Okay. And this X show here. We want to make sure that we also are entangling this here. So let's make sure this properly works. We want this to be X model body. So we were basically setting it to this variable up here. There we go. So we have to circle as well and we have the text appearing. 
So the next thing we want to go ahead and do is we want to have the circle which will fill out all of this information. So for now, let's go ahead and write a few functions up here. So first and foremost, we want to write a function up here, which is going to be the max length of 280 get percentage. And then here we want to return math dot round. And in this case, you want to say this the body dot length times 100 divided by max length. You want to get display percentage, which is going to just be this small mathematical variable here. And we also want to have a get dash here. In here, we want to return two times math to pi times this dot radius. Let's make sure we actually call this radius. So let's make sure we actually spell this correctly here. And I think we can just go ahead and say radius down here now. I think it's just a spelling error. Okay, no, it's still not going through. So let's just leave this a 30, but I think that's just easier to do that for now. Maybe it's because of this error here, actually. So we just need that arrow. That seems fine, perfect. So, with that sorted now, we want to have an offset here. And this is going to have a let circle equal to this the dash. Let progress equal to this the display percentage times 100. And we want to return circle times 1 minus progress. And then we want to get percentage is over. And I think that's all the functions we need here. So let's see how this comes into action down here. So again, we want in here radius of radius. We want to have in here uh, essentially the same width in CX and CY. So let's go ahead and make sure we just fill that out here. And we don't want to have a class in here of stroke current. And then we want in here a class again of percentage. And in this case, we want to say either display text red or text blue. stroke dash array to dash, stroke dash offset to offset. And let's get rid of that one down here. So you see now if I'm typing, this is blue, this is perfect. And now it's just going over the limit. So that's how it works. It automatically fills it out perfectly. And for this, you can now also see that we can now determine the max length here. So it's set in a variable that you can easily control. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. In the next video, we're going to be submitting the tweet. And then after that, we're going to be looking at how to do real time functionality through the timeline as well. And add in a tweet along with automatically displaying for other users. So thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.